Hey everyone, I'm Avra and I'm your technical content creator from SparkFun. Today, we get to talk about the new Red 5 Redboard. The Red 5 board takes on the form of the traditional Redboard and features the Sci-5 Freedom 310 core, which implements the RISC-V ISA. An ISA is an instruction set architecture, and it's how the software and the hardware of a board communicate with each other. Traditionally, ISAs are locked under NDAs, royalties, and licenses. And that's what makes RISC-V so cool. Its premise is that it's provided under free open source licenses. So while the system on the chip doesn't necessarily change any computing benchmarks, although it is still one of the fastest on the market and can run at 150 megahertz, the RISC-V architecture totally changes the technology business model. Now, with RISC-V, a company can extend the core to meet their specific needs. And they don't have to wait for the vendor to mitigate security flaws or to get support. They can just mitigate, customize, and scale the core themselves whenever they want. Traditional ISAs are kind of like the Apple ecosystem. You buy one product and then you're locked into buying all those extra dongles to support all your other products. Whereas the RISC-V ISA is more like USB-C in that it's sort of universal. So what better way to make use of this open source hardware than to implement some open source software on it? We can do this using free RTOS, which is a real-time operating system that's been ported from microcontroller platforms like RISC-V. Basically, FreeRTOS makes it possible to implement multi-threading solutions. Instead of using decoupled standalone libraries, FreeRTOS allows the user to maintain and translate their code to many applications over time. So let's utilize the open sourceness of the Red5 Redboard and FreeRTOS to make an awesome IoT application using Sci-5's Freedom Studio and AWS. We'll establish a connection to an HTTPS server using mutual authentication between the client and the server. Security is a top priority in many IoT applications. You wouldn't want Guilfoyle hacking into your smart fridge now, would you? So we'll make sure to add an extra layer of security in our application. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and HTTPS is encrypted with TLS, which is Transport Layer Security. HTTP and HTTPS are both just protocols used to send data over the web, and they both utilize specific requests to perform various tasks. Two of the most common methods are GET, which requests data from a resource, and POST, which sends data to a server to create or update a resource. These will be the basic building blocks of our IoT application. First, we have to configure AWS IoT and Amazon Free RTOS so that we can connect our Red5 to the AWS cloud. This entails setting up an AWS account and creating users in our profile. We'll set permissions for a specific user such that they have full access to Amazon Free RTOS and AWS IoT. We can either register our board as an AWS IoT thing through the AWS command line interface or through the AWS IoT console. Both will connect our project to AWS IoT by configuring endpoints, credentials, and keys and setting them to the appropriate values. Now, using the source files provided by FreeRTOS, including the kernel, the TCP stack for FreeRTOS, and the IoT SDK, we can establish a TLS connection to an HTTPS server. The example script demonstrates multiple HTTP methods, like get, head, put, and post. But for the AWS IoT profile that we set up, the example will only send a post request. So there you have it an easy way to build an IoT application using open source software and open source hardware. The sky is really the limit with RISC-V technology. So customize and scale yours how you want, whether it's an IoT application or not, and pick up your Redboard at sparkfun.com today. Is this thing even on? So let's utilize the open sourceness. Of, so let's utilize the open sources. <laughs> whereas Risk Five is more like the USB C in its universality. Much better. Universality. Universality.